this is apple and I know you don't like apple but I need you to eat it. Is that okay? It's a little bit watered down. Good girl. There you go. Bubby. Whoosh. Good girl. Good morning everyone. So today is Saturday and um, it's about half past nine. I'm just feeding Florence her breakfast. Um, today is obviously going to be a home day like every single day of this uh, vlogmas so far pretty much. Um, plans have changed quite a lot over like the past 24 hours. So I normally go to work on a Friday night and clean. Florence, good just here you go. But Neil got stuck on a job so I wasn't able to do that last night. Um, I normally clean like from like half five-ish. So I wasn't able to do that last night and then I was going to go first thing this morning from like half six. Um, couldn't do that because Neil then told me, because obviously I do two buildings so it takes me a long time, it takes about four hours. Um, so I was then going to go this morning but then Neil told me that he has an appointment this morning so that meant I couldn't go. So work has been off the cards twice. So I'll just have to go tomorrow morning, which is, is fine. Um, Neil's appointment this morning is for his tattoo removal. Um, he has got, he just made some really poor mistakes when he was 18. And he's got a shocking tribal number on his right hand side, like on his stomach. It's I mean, he's my husband, I've married, with, I've married him, and I've been with him for coming up to nine years. It's vile, <laughs> and he hates it too. Um, it's, he really regrets it, so he's working on tattoo removal. He's had one session, he had a tester, then he's had one session six weeks ago, and then he's got another one today. Um, and it should take about, I can't remember what he said. Da, 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 da. I think like eight sessions eight to ten sessions i don't know um but he's got that have oh, you still got daddy's slippers on <laughs> can i have something else you? you can have a yogurt from the fridge do you, want, do you want my yogurt i'll do my yogurt for you in a minute yeah yeah that's fine i'll bring it to you in a second i'm just finishing florence's breakfast i'll do that i i will do it okay um, I got a no Listen, you're not eating my yogurt out of the tub. Please listen to me. I will get it out for you. I'll get, I'll get fixed. I will do it. I will do it. I'll keep I understand what you're no, saying. But, I know you're but, promising. I understand. But I really don't want honey yogurt to go for it. Please let me do it in a minute, okay? It's not going to go anywhere. You don't know that. Please. Daisy. Mommy, I'm going to get honey yogurt. Am I the mummy or are you? You. Right, then can you please listen to me? Bring the yogurt to me and I'll put it in a bowl in a minute, okay? okay. Thank you. Florence. Is this new? Is this a new tablet? They, yeah, they changed the packaging. Is so this a normal though? Yeah, it's normal. They've just taken the plastic lid off and put a different design on the front. Um you really don't like Apple, do you? Thank you. Right, I will look after it and I will do it for you in a second, okay? Get, a bowl. get the bowl and a spoon out. <coughs> Shall I get rid of this porridge? I don't know anyone with a baby. You just don't like apple, do you? It's too sharp. And I've really watered it down. Can you just have a little bit more? Should we try on a different flavour? Do you want peach? Oh my god, why can you not just be patient? You've just had, you've had toast, you've just had a cookie. What are you getting now? I haven't got any strawberries. I need you to get some when you go to Tesco's. You finished them yesterday. Just plain yogurt. 
Right, pop that, lick that, and then pop that in the washing up bowl for me. I'll put that away in a minute. Good? Yeah. If you want raisins on top, you can. There you go. Yeah. The plan for today is that once Neil is back from um, his tattoo removal, which will be soon, I'm going to make salt dough ornaments with pea, but I'm not going to bake them this time because whenever I put them in the oven, they turn into piss breads and they just puff up. So I'm going to cut them and then probably put them in the garage so they can go hard and cold over the next couple of days. Then we'll decorate them. Um, speaking of the garage, I need to... We're going to organise that today. Um, we've got just shit everywhere where people have had things stored and had things taken out. We've got some bits in there from my grandma's house. My grandma passed in August and... They did the house clearance, I think it was this week. And then we've got some stuff that obviously we didn't want to be in the house clearance. So we've got that in the garage. Like some special paintings and a side unit and things like that. Um, so we just need to like give everything a home and a little rejig. And then I need to sort out <coughs> the conservatory, which I don't really ever film because it's basically just a shit tip. Like you see my house and you think it's all nice, clean and tidy, which it is because I keep on top of it. Um, the conservatory is not that. The conservatory is basically my dumping ground uh, and it's not organised. Oh, thanks for that. I love having water gobbed on, thrown in my eye. Um, so we're going to sort through that as well. Open up. Come on. You don't like apple, do you? A little bit more. <coughs> Come on. It's not that bad. Don't be so dramatic. <laughs> okay, well, you've, you've had something. You shall have some milk later. Okay, so I've done the dough, I've got out the cutters, and I've done baking trays. I just googled how long it takes salt dough to dry, apparently it takes two to seven days. I don't have that time, so I'm going to bake it. It says to put it on the lowest setting. Does that mean like 50 degrees? There you go, that'll do. Right, let's see how this turns out. Um, P and Neil have just gone to Tesco's to get some bits. So I'm going to roll this out and have this ready for her for when she gets home. Shh. <gasps> what have you got? A baby and she's got um, Emmy. Emmy, wow. Emmy, whatever. Like, it changes. Should we go in there? She keeps going Emmy. She keeps going Emma. That's because her advent calendar's called Emma. How much money did you get? Thanks for coming home. <laughs> How much money did you get, babe? How much money did you get? Fifty-five pounds. Fifty-five pounds. Forty-five. Come on, then show me all your money. Show us your money. Was it fun putting it all in the machine? No. Oh, it's too loud. <gasps> wow. Money. That's your big girl money. Well done. That's what happens when you save all your coins, or all of Daddy's coins, we should say. So you treated yourself to a baby, did you? Yeah. How much was she? Do you know? No. You can leave that money in there. Well, she's very pretty, isn't she? Yeah, and my money. Well, aren't you lucky? Just before Christmas as well. Oh no, it rocks. Yeah. Can you show me what you got from Tesco's? Should we look after that? Do me a haul. What have you got? 
Rose. Yeah. Rose for my burgers. Cool. Okay. Rose. I she was going to go back. No, she wouldn't. Hi. Thanks for coming home and waking her up. No, don't let me see. Don't put that away. Put that down the side. Don't let me see. Put it down the side. Go put it in my bedroom. That's really big. Because ah. I'm strawberries. Yeah. Lovely. I can't carry this. <laughs> yes, you can. Milk. Yeah. Baked wells. Yeah, baked wells. Purple paint. I don't know if we have purple paint, have we? Do you know we don't have purple paint? I thought you meant like lilacs. That's a really horrible purple. Do you like it? What did it? Alright. Um, you can mix a bit of white with it, make it a bit lighter. See? Yeah. See, Daddy? And you told me, didn't you? Yeah, Daddy didn't notice that. Actually, <laughs> these are daddy's, but these are cookies for him. So these only got two more. We got some white. That's what we need, yeah. White, so you can do a snowman. Red pepper, nice red one. Lovely, did you pick that? Yeah. Yeah. Dad, Dad, didn't know since we could have a stick on that. Mm -hmm. You done it, didn't you? Yeah, because I told him, Daddy, we don't know. We haven't got non scans on here. Barcode. Barcode on here because. Non scans. <laughs> <laughs> because um, there wasn't any. You can't just scan the whole pepper, really. Can mm, you? Not really. No, so you need one of those stickers. Even if you have the other one, you need to have a sticker. Some jam dodgers. Jam and creams. Yeah. Those are for Daddy also. But they mm -hmm. Daddy's got a good little stash. Is that it? No. And we got some turkey. Some, some what, sorry? Some turkey. What was it? Turkey. Chicken. Chicken. <laughs> And we got some chicken and then some money. Lovely. So the stuff is in the oven. It's going to stay in there for three hours. I've now got to wash up and sterilise some bottles and put all this stuff away. What have you got for your lunch today? Buffalo roll, baguette I meant. Mm -hmm. Buffalo baguette, crisps and strawberries. And drop to crisp. There you go. Good girl. Catch. <laughs> well this is all for charity. So this all needs to go. We can t put the bird bath outside. Well, we will. This is why we're doing I still think we should get rid of all of that magnolia paint. Alright, well, yeah, let's get rid of it to wet. <laughs> this is the before. There is a lot of stuff in here, but there's a lot of stuff we can sell. Like we can sell this bouncer, which need to get the adapter down from the attic, so that can go. Give all of that to charity. We can clear it all. That'll be fine. After, it's not okay. completely organised. Um, I'm washing the bottom of the push chair. I need to find out if anyone's got this silver cross push chair. Is there a way where I can take the cover off and wash it? I don't know if that zips it up. I don't think you can. That. Yeah, but that just undoes it. I don't I don't think I can put it in the washing machine and I need to because Florence is gonna go into that probably in spring and it's fucking filthy, it's disgusting. 
I wouldn't even sell it for like 20 quid. Like it's rank. I want to get this off. I don't think you can. This is a really poor push chair. I wouldn't recommend it. I don't think you can. I remember Ellie sponge washing hers. I think we just have to get a new one. It's ruined. I mean, it lasted. Oh my God, look how weird it looks without the hood. Yeah, but that can't go in the washing machine. No, but now you can clean it all properly. Oh my God. Soak it in the bath. Yeah. That's rank. That makes me feel really dirty. Um, anyway, so this chest is one that's going to my mum's. That will go next weekend. And then this will then get pushed back. No, the chest is... Yeah, but then we're not doing the attic until after Christmas, are we? Um, yeah. I can probably go through that as well and get rid of some more stuff for charity. I actually donate a lot of my Orchard Toys things to the school because they take them in nursery. And then we've got, like, craft section, things like that. Right. Anyway, on to the conservatory. I've got wet slippers. Um, it just needs a little bit of organisation really and um, there was a big spider in here and I just absolutely shat myself so I decided against it. Um, <laughs> what to say about it? I should really take down this. This is my hammock um, pole and I've just got loads of like shitty bits so I've got like Christmas presents, I've got this in Argos. It went down to £12 on Black Friday, so I got this for P. Um, so I just need to like organise it all. I've got Christmas presents everywhere, food, my bookshelf. I have to cover everything up because it gets sun damaged. Um, it's just a bit of a, bit of a shit tip, really. I haven't filmed for a good couple of hours I don't think it is now 20 to 6 um I feel really queasy and just really ugh. we popped out to Poundland and Wilco got a couple of bits which I'm going to show you um whilst I was out when we were driving back in the car I was on my phone and I I used to be fine but now looking on my phone and just traveling a short period of time really throws me out it makes me feel really really like ill <laughs> so it's self-inflicted and i'm so tired and probably a bit hungry so dinner's now in we're having butcher's burgers we've got those um homemade chips and probably some cucumber or something on the side um what did i get i got neil some highlighters for his stocking because he said that he needed them and then i also got some bags from Poundland for posting my blankets and stuff so I've got three large for a pound I'm hoping they're going to be big enough the medium ones aren't so that's fine then popped into Wilco because so many of you were like oh they sell the Malteser and minstrel tubes in Mal in um, Wilco didn't have the minstrel um I couldn't see the Malteser turns out that Neil managed to find them and I didn't so just sums up how I feel right now so that is what that is um but I got some bits that I thought was a really good deal so I got this for P a market store with Wilco version of Lego don't know if it's any good but I just thought for the price this should have been hang on they've got like 25% off P got some stuff as well uh should have been three pounds. I paid two twenty five for this. Can't work out what they've got um, off, but it was just a really good value. They had so many good sets, and it says that it fits with other construction kits. And she is getting some for Christmas. So if it's good, I'm definitely going to go back and get some more. They've got great little mini ones. Again, what I'll show you for like ninety p. Brilliant stocking fillers, and if P wasn't with me, then I'd get some more boy stuff than girls. But if you're struggling, definitely go to Wilco. Really good value. So I've got that. She knows she's got that. I'm just going to wrap it up for her. 
um, it's the problem when you go shopping with your kids. And then I managed to find myself a waterproof mascara, had a nightmare with this, paid for it, left it at the till, walked about 10 minutes away and then I was like, oh my god, I didn't pick it up, had to go back. Probably one reason why I feel like crap, because I was very stressed. And then they had three for two on like their craft supplies, so I got things some of these, because she needs some more like paintbrushes, she doesn't really have any. Um, that was 175, but that bit was free because obviously it was three for two. I have been after these bloody paints since lockdown when everyone went absolutely crazy and bought all the art supplies and I haven't been able to get any. And I managed to get, there was, this was the last set of the metallic, which I have been desperate for. And then um, I got the, there was only two sets left of the princess paint. So these are £3.50 each. If I had another set, I would have got another one. I could have got one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve, eighteen. I would have got eighteen for seven pounds. But I've got these ones, so we've got some glitters and some like really pretty colours that she doesn't have. Like all her favourite colours. And then I've got some metallic ones. Um I think they're beautiful and just definitely needed. We don't have enough paint. We've just got primary colours from um Poundland, so I'm gonna wrap these up for Christmas. Um so yeah, I've got that and that. I just think I did really, really well. Um, so Norwich Wilco isn't great at the moment with arts and crafts supplies, but definitely check out your local one. <sighs> right, that's everything I got, and I also got my auntie a book. Um, I feel really, really faint. I'm wow! I just have some building this, but where's the box? Oh, on the floor. So this is one that P had. So P had five pounds to spend today. You got some bits from Poundland, and then in Wilco she got this one. This one was one fifty, went down to one pound ten, and then it scanned at ninety p. So you've got like the theatre, and then she also picked the police car, and this they also had a fire engine one, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't want that one. And you've got beautiful hair clips. And I put my little one. Oh yeah, like that one. Cool. Well, this is really good, isn't it? Yeah, what do we need next? I'll help you in a minute. And they had loads of little figures, didn't they? Yeah. There's but... figures for like £1.50. Don't get me wrong, not as good as Lego, but not bad for the price, is it? Should we sit? Whoa, look at all those steps. Should we sit down and do it then? I need to down that water. Right, what's our next one then? Has she done? We've done number one and two. The salt dough ornaments. They look really good, but they started to puff up again, like I said. I don't know if you can see it only slightly, and they're still like really soft. I didn't know, I flipped them halfway through, and I don't think I should have done. I think that was what one of my issues was. Um, so I'm gonna leave them in here for like a day or two. But they were in the, in the um, oven until, uh, I wanna say three. So they were in there like a good five hours and they're still soft. Pull. Ready? The rescue party. That looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. Should we read it now then? Here's that. Right. It's time to put this little one to bed. Hey. Florence. You tired? What is the time? Oh my God, it's half past seven. Where the hell's the day gone, hey? Why's the day gone? Good night, my woman. I see you in the morning. Mummy's got work early, okay? I'm gonna go work at about seven, so I'll see you after your breakfast, all right? I love you. Uh, Good night. Uh, yeah. Love you. Right, it is half past seven, like I just said, and I am now gonna wrap up this vlog. Um. We are gonna have a chill tonight, gather a bath, watch the hit list, watch Strictly, catch up on last night's Google Box, and that's about it. Make a tea, have a hot water bottle, and go to bed and read my book. So I am gonna sign off for tonight. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't know what I filmed today. Couldn't, ow, ah, couldn't tell you. Um, just been one of those days. I look horrific. I'm getting a spot, I don't know. But I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless, and I will see you in my next video. I don't know which one is going up tomorrow. I think I'm going to do my book advent, so look out for that. 
my black advent is going to go up on monday night i shall see you all in my next video bye